Okay, I'm going to show quickly how you um, create new metadata translations, uh, associate new metadata translations with MarkEdit. Um, essentially, uh, we start by opening up the, the program here. Um, you want to get to the Mark Tools page. You can use one of the shortcuts at the front, so let's click on the Mark Breaker. Um, this will open up the Mark Tools window. Um, these are the XML files, that, uh, XML conversions that are in MarkEdit. This is obviously a larger list than what comes by default, um, but we're going to add uh, essentially some new ones to it. Basically, to create MarkEdit conversions, you want to create a style sheet uh, that's going to convert from either your metadata format directly to a new metadata format or your metadata format to MarkXML. Um, since Mark XML is what MarkEdit uses internally, it's kind of like a control format. If you do create a conversion from a uh, format to uh, Mark XML, you can actually reuse that over and over again to create other translations against other um, uh, defined uh, style sheets within the program. Anyways, to create a new one, what we're going to do is I'm going to use uh, there's an OAA Mark DC style sheet here, and we're going to show how to take um, uh, create a style sheet that will take OAI and convert it to, to plain mark. So what we're going to do is we go up here to Tools, um, we have Edit XML Function List, click on that, we get the list of defined functions, uh, we click on Add, and so that gives us this little uh, wizard to kind of, our dialog box to, to basically give some information about what the translation is. So we need to add a, a function name alias. This is what's going to show up in that XML function list. So you want it to be something that you will remember what it is, something that's meaningful. So I'm going to call this one OAI uh, to mark. And then you need to give the style sheet. So by default, mark edit style sheets exist um, in the program directory, but you can put them anywhere. In fact, I recommend that if um, you're creating your own style sheets, that you have a place of your own that's uh, maybe for your custom style sheets. But these are the ones that are that are in MarkEdit by default. Um, the OAI to DC subject sheet is um, uh, this one. This one right here, OAI DC to Mark XML. So we're going to go ahead and select that one. So that puts it into the XSL style sheet. Um, do we have to tell it what the original format is? It's other. It's not Mark. It's not Mark XML. It's OAI, so that's other. The final format is going to be Mark XML, so we check that. Um, here we can do some things with telling it whether or not we want to convert the data, or actually we're going to say Mark. We're going to go from OAI directly to Mark. And so here we can tell it if we want to take those, um, those XML files, which are going to be most likely and probably ought to be in Unicode, and convert them to Mark 8. Um, if we want to do that, we check this box. I'm going to say no because I'd rather have the data in Unicode. If we have files, XSLT files, that utilize external resources, linked um, XML, XSLT documents, um, or external DTDs, and we want to require validation, we can check this button for resolving remote indies. Um, it's unchecked by default because uh, it makes the um, XSLT translation more portable. And then finally, there's the XSLT engine. Um, there's a default MSXML engine, which is, utilizes components that are part of the .NET framework um, that I've optimized specifically for doing translations that uh, are um, uh, XSLT version 1 compliant. If you need XSLT, uh, the style sheet language version 2, you can use the, the Saxon processor, which utilizes uh, Michael K's uh, phenomenal uh, Saxon components, um, the .NET version that he created. I'm just going to leave it as default, which will default to the XSLT version, the MSXSLT version, the, the optimized version, um, since my style sheet here is version 1. And I tell it OK, close the file, and if we look now, we see right here that OAI to mark is now in the XML function list. And now from here, I can then um, you know, browse to a saved um, XML file that includes um, OAI records, which I don't have one handy, but if I did, I could select, um, and then I could give an output file and process the data, and it would turn it from um, OAI to